On last week's episode, I cut a giant hole in my 1965 Alberg 30 Tritea to make room for a Lumar Ocean Series 65 hatch. I've gone, gone ahead and cut a little. The, the, uh, gone ahead and cut the aft in off of my base, my new base. And uh, it's gonna be roughly around there somewhere. Um, we are gonna take this down for the camber but let's set the hatch in and see kind of where this falls. Then we can mark on the outside to see where we need to take it down to fiberglass, get rid of the gel coat and the anti-skid sort of texture so that we can bond this to the deck. So that's pretty happy around there. So with the hatch in place, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this with a Sharpie. Now we can um, take it off and figure out our, our reduction here to how much we want to remove and start sanding that down until it, it matches the deck. So I've measured out, it's like, I don't know, three eighths, and then like, I don't know, half an inch on the other side. But we don't know how this lays, so. We're just gonna go ahead and remove like, three eighths from the middle and kind of smooth it down until it kind of sits in a nice place that's uh you know acceptable to what we want okay so i've gotten the hole worked into the shape i want it i used a grinder with a sanding pad to bring down this aft plane to match up with our new marine ply base i removed material Basically, I just sanded down the depth I thought it was gonna be and then feathered out, you know, to each side and just kept setting it in place <clears throat> until I saw that the camber was accounted for of the deck. And um, now we'll set it, set it down in there and I'll show you what it looks like. So, that's how she's going to fit. She's snug against the uh, this aft sort of wall or brace. And um, this is all snug. Now it's just a matter of removing all of the paint and gel coat to this Sharpie mark I made. So that we can start epoxying down our base. I'm also gonna sand an edge off the, the, the top corner off this so that it's, it's just more rounded off. Um, but then we can start glassing this in place and uh, let that kick off overnight and then finish bedding it and everything tomorrow. But um, making good progress. Now it's time to get back to some dirty work. Okay, so I've got everything ready to go to start the first like glassing. I think what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is just do like unthickened epoxy at first to try to get the new base to kind of marry with the deck and um, get that all the way around. Let that kick off overnight and then do the first layers of glass tomorrow.
One thing I'm gonna do to make sure that everything stays where I want it to stay is uh, I've drawn where the, this is where the hatch is gonna mount, the screw holes go. So I'm gonna do four points with stainless screws. Like I'm gonna pre-drill them, countersink them. And then um, once I, I wet everything out on the bottom, I'm gonna screw it into place so that it doesn't move at all. So that it's like where I want it to be. And um, that'll just make sure that once that kicks off, I don't come back and it's like slid a little bit because of the wet epoxy and everything. And uh, I just think that's like kind of a good safety net for this scenario. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to mixing up my West system. And uh, like I said today, I'm just gonna be doing unthickened epoxy um, just to try to get it to kind of marry to the deck. And then we'll come back and um, start doing all the glass work. This is where my screw registers are going to come in real handy. So here it is. We'll let the resin kick off and then come tomorrow and start doing the glass. I'll probably do two layers of glass and then um, fairing compound. And um, we got some filler spots to do aft. Um, other than that, <clears throat> pretty simple project, but it's gonna make a world of difference uh, to keeping water and waves out of the v-berf even on small passages but most certainly when we start doing ocean passages so i'm very excited about this upgrade so i'm gonna let this kick off and me and the pup are gonna go to the park and then tomorrow morning we're gonna start over again I got two layers of glass done today and um, pretty happy with the progress. I'm gonna let it kick off overnight. Here it is. And then come back, do a little bit of fairing, sanding and fairing and fillets. Uh, most of it's not gonna be seen. It's all gonna be underneath the hatch. So visually it's not, it's not a big deal. As long as it has a nice like smooth base for the uh, sealant to, to sit on with the um, hatch, then we're all good. So that's where we're at today. Now it's time to finish up some other projects here on the boat.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.